How are you doing, beautiful souls? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with another Unisa video. If you're coming for the first time, please do not shy away from pressing that subscribe button down below and pressing the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I upload a new video. So without wasting any more of your time, guys, let me just go straight to the video. Unisa is hosting their first physical graduation ceremony ever since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. How exciting is this? This is going to be actually taking place between the date of 27 June all the way to the 5th of August. So the first place where they're going to be, uh, they're going to first start with Polowane. At the graduation there, they're going to take place on the 2 the 28th of June. Then from there, they're going to go to Pretoria campus, uh, the 1st of July all the way to the 8th of July. And then in Cape Town, graduations are going to take place on the 11th of July all the way to the 13th of July. Then they're going to come to Durban, my city. <laughs> So in Durban, the graduation ceremony is going to take place on the 18th of July all the way to the 22 of July, I believe. Then they're going to end with East London and on East London, it's going to be on the 27th all the way to the 28th of July. Um, I think more dates are going to be released if there's another place which was left out because they did mention that they're going to finish with all the graduations on the 5th of August, even though the 5th of August is not amongst these dates and venues. So I believe that maybe they're going to still add on some other dates and some other places. Guys, this is truly exciting. Um, the last video that I did with Unisa, I was truly like going in depth about how I feel and my experiences. And I was really, I needed to, to, to say something or to do something. And so uh, it's good to hear and to see that things are starting to fall into place. And I feel like, um, I don't know if I should say this, but I feel like that article where even I showed you guys in the previous video where they were saying that they are threatened to actually lose their credibility if they don't fix themselves. I feel like that was a very necessary conversation to take place because now we can truly see that things are actually happening because we wouldn't want that to happen with our university. We are students there and we want to be respected when we go to our employers and when we vent out when we are looking for employment and all that. So we truly need the credibility of the university because we work so damn hard to get our qualifications at Tunisia. God knows how much we work so hard. Everything we have to rely on ourselves. Most of the time, we need to rely on ourselves because as you guys know, they have a reputation of actually not responding to us at all, or sometimes they will respond later. So I hope that all those problems now are gonna come to an end now that we know there's something that is actually moving forward with Tunisia. What happened if you might be wondering what, 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 what have changed? What, what, how is this going to be a success? Remember last time they did attempt to actually start with the graduation ceremonies. I think it was around May. Not sure of the date, but it was around May of 2022. But then the, the, the members of Nihau disturbed the ceremony. It, did, it ended up getting disturbed. Uh, they couldn't proceed with the, with the day or with the event. So you might ask yourself, so what have changed? Have they had a conversation? It turned out that actually Nehau have agreed, they, have a, they had a conversation and they agreed with UNISA that they can actually proceed with the graduations. So I feel like this is good news. Uh, the second thing that I would like to talk about is that UNISA have added the frequently asked questions, which is also known as the FAQ a segment on their website where you can actually click i'm going to show you how it looks like here on the screen around here so there when you click there you'll be able to get most of your answers uh, uh, most of your questions answered because they actually collaborated a, a series of mostly asked questions especially questions english is not my mother's tongue so they <laughs> They have uh, put together the, more, the, the collection of the most asked questions there so that we can be able to read through the questions and have the answers uh, which are already there on the, on the website. So if you have any, question, any questions, mostly when it comes to the questions that have to do a lot with our examinations, how we're writing, there's issues of load shedding, what you're going to do if load shedding takes place while you're in the process of writing your examination. They're going to answer all those questions. You're going to find them there and that you frequently asked questions. So that is one of the things also that I feel like, okay, it's, this is kind of lifting the mood up. Uh, it's giving hope, you know, it looks like there's something that is happening that is moving us forward 
with our academic affairs. Since we are still writing examinations at our own homes or at our own private places, we are still uh, required to follow the rules and the procedure and use the app so that we can make sure that the quality of our examination is actually up to standard and that nothing fishy is going to take place uh, during the writing of examinations. I did actually make a video about how to use the app. Uh, if you have not seen this video, this is the video. I'm just going to put a, a photo of that video. Maybe you can quickly go as soon as you finish with this video, you go watch this video. It will actually elaborate you, elaborate for you more about how to actually use the Invigilator app uh, during your examination. Another thing that I would like to actually add with on this video is that to people who are asking themselves, because I've been getting a lot of questions where people are asking when are the applications opening again, or the applications for 2023 are are going to be officially opened from the 11th of august all the way to the 12th of november this year of 2022 so i actually did say this on the last video that i posted i will also i will repeat it again guys if you have unique queries if you have situations issues that are, you feel like are unique or you feel like you need assistance with when it comes to unisa as a UNISA student please do not shy away from commenting them down below so that we can see with how we fix our problems. We need to come together at this point and see with how can we fix our problems with UNISA. As you guys saw on the previous video that I did before this video, I actually opened my heart out and actually shared with you guys the experience that I had and how I needed help and how everything was happening, okay? I'm halfway through with the process. Like you guys had, um, it's a waiting game at this point in time because like you guys know, sending emails, calling, but I'll keep on doing that but it is still you know not you know being replied but i have hope based on the story that i also told you guys that there were people who were told that their results are nowhere to be found because they were absent on the examination so when they provided proof that they did write the examination it turned out that a couple of months later their situation was fixed so i just want us to to be optimistic as much as we need to be optimistic we need to have each other's back i know that there are people who have went through similar situations who fixed them so maybe if you share your your query or your situation somebody will be able to see it and actually assist you about te in, in 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 telling you basically how they fixed that query with unisa so that maybe you can do the same thing that they did and actually get help i hope that everything is going to fall into place to all the people who are actually getting graduated or are going to graduations, I am truly excited for you guys. You truly deserve it. I know how the journey has been at Janissa and I know how it's not easy generally wherever you started from. Being a student, it's not easy. So whatever that you've done and whatever that you had to go through to reach today, being told that you are going to a graduation, I am truly excited for you guys in Ganzawetu. My brothers and sisters in Fiselin Tantla, I hope that all the arrangements and all the things that you are working on, uh, your outfits, your beauty, your cameras, and everything is falling into place. You're excited, and I hope everything goes well. And please, guys, share on social media and everywhere. Share with us so that we can get inspired, so that we can get motivated as well, so that we can also somehow imagine our days when they are actually finally coming because. At the end of the day, this whole thing is about that. It's about the end game. Everything has to come to an end. And an end, it, it has to be beautiful. The end has got to be beautiful. So thank you so much, guys, for staying tuned in. I will end this video here for now. Until next time, guys, love and light. Adios.